Hey, 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 what is up, Yappa fam? I am super excited about this Yappa Live because we are doing something super special. We're having a Holy Ghost Crusade. And this is gonna be cool. Um, I don't know if you would necessarily call it a crusade because we're not like crusading anywhere, but we are on a mission for everyone who is going to be involved in today's Yappa Live that they be touched by the power of the Holy Ghost, not only touched by the power of the Holy Ghost, but that by the grace of God, they'll be filled with his spirit. So if you have not received the gift of the Holy Ghost, evidenced by speaking in other tongues just yet, God is here, God is real, and that is what we're going to be going after today. What is up, Yappa fam? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am super excited about this Yappa Live. We are going to be poignant on time. We're going to move through this um, because we only have about an hour, and I don't want to interrupt. I don't want Instagram to interrupt things and then you know have to restart and everything like that. So um, this is going to be great. So we're gonna we're gonna jump into this. For those of you guys who are joining, you guys are um, you know have been uh, you know you guys have been a part of the church for a long time. I want you guys to pay attention and take note as to exactly like how this rolls out, so that you guys can go ahead and implement this in your your own lives. Um, and uh, in those who you minister to, those who you talk to, those who you, who you congregate with, you communicate with, um, we want that. We want the power of the Holy Ghost to be able to flow everywhere. And I'm so excited, you guys! I am super, super excited about what is about to happen. I am so stoked! Like I really, I, I'm, I'm just so amazed at, at the at where we're at right now. So I have my notes down here. And um, I'm really ready just to jump into this thing. Those of you guys who are watching the replay, um, yeah, this is going to be a, a super awesome Yap Alive. Now, uh, this is going to be something that's um, a, a little bit different. Again, we're going out there. We're doing our best to create, to utilize social media to reach the world and to propagate the gospels of this holy book uh, around the world, right? And that is what we're going to be doing today. And so I'm super excited about this Yap Alive. If you're on and if you're ready, give me a thumbs up. If you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, if you guys are on and you guys are ready, share this with a friend because we are about to get real. It's going to be some Holy Ghost praying, some true apostolic power. Okay, cool. We got, yeah, Nathan's ready, Jared's ready. Trish is ready. This is going to be awesome. Reagan's ready. Oh, man, dude, I am so, so excited. Today is going to be an awesome life. Share this. Start sharing it right now with friends who, you know, have been thinking about the Holy Ghost, been, you know, wanting to, 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 to have it. This is going to be live. We're focused on uh, getting that to them. I, I am super excited. Not that we can give it, but we can sure lead you to the place in which it comes. So, First off, um, we're going to say a quick covering prayer. We're going to jump into this. So for those of you guys who are joining, those of you guys who, um, those of you guys who are, uh, you know, are, are, um, are coming on, just, just in, involve yourself with what's going on. If you guys have a background in the church, just involve yourself, plug in right away, start praying for this live stream because I'm, I'm sure that uh, at the very least people are going to be touched by the power of the Holy Ghost. And um, I'm looking for praise reports as uh, to, to people just, just receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's going to be great. So without further ado, let's bind together in one accord. If you guys wouldn't mind kind of focusing on what we're about to do right now, because this is going to be an awesome live. And uh, I'm, I'm super stoked about it. So uh, I'm just going to say maybe for the next about five minutes or so, we're just going to pray. We're going to have, uh, you know, open our hearts up, open our spirits up, get sensitive to the spirit of God. Because the spirit of God is not only going to fall in this room and where I'm at, but it's going to fall in your room as well. If you guys are, you know, maybe walking through the kitchen, you know, maybe you're on your way home from work or whatever you're doing, you're going to feel the power of God sneak up on you and and, and just, and it's going to be good. Okay. And not because I'm saying it, but because it's, it's coming from heaven. So I'm super stoked about it. Let's hit this again about the first five minutes. We're just going to start praying. We're going to start, you know, opening up our spirits up, getting sensitive. And then we're going to start teaching for just a little bit. And then we're going to start praying. So if you guys are ready, give me another thumbs up. I'm super stoked. I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's jump into this. God, I worship you. Lord, I praise you. I thank you for this opportunity, Jesus. 
I worship you. I magnify you, God. I thank you for all that you're doing, Jesus. I praise you. You are great and greatly to be praised, God. I lift you up and I magnify you, Jesus. I pray your perfect will be accomplished on today's live stream, God. I pray that you move on hearts. I pray that you would touch our minds, help us to be sensitive to your spirit, what your spirit says and where your spirit wants to go. I pray that we are in tune with it. I pray, God, that your, your perfect will be accomplished. Lord Jesus, touch us today, oh God, in accordance to your purpose and your will and your plan and what you so desire. I pray, God, let your perfect will be done. I pray a covering prayer over this entire live stream from right now until it ends. I pray that your spirit would take the preeminence, God, that you would uh, erect yourself, that you would stand in this uh, in this, uh, th this place with us today and that your spirit and that your Holy Ghost, God, would uh, take dominion and authority over every obstacle, both human and uh, and demonic God that your perfect will be accomplished Jesus and that your power and that your spirit would make itself manifest here dear Jesus this is something that was in your mind to do and we're bringing it and we're doing it in accordance to your purpose and accordance to your will let your perfect will be accomplished I plead the blood of Jesus over this entire next hour I pray God that your spirit would be with us I pray that your spirit would lead us and guide us and that your spirit would touch us I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We release you to do your perfect will. We release this live stream to you for you to have your perfect will accomplished. And we pray in the name and in the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask that your perfect will, your perfect will be done. And God, that nothing, no flesh would rise up. No thoughts of doubt, no thoughts of fear, no thoughts of disbelief or unbelief. God, let none of that come up and, and uh, attack our minds and, and attack our, our hearts and our faith towards you. We release you, God, to do everything that you will in accordance to your spirit and what you so desire. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray a covering over this entire live stream. In Jesus' name, help us to be focused, fixated, full of faith, full of belief, full of power, we pray. In the name of Jesus, I ask, oh God, let your perfect will be accomplished. In Jesus' name, and we thank you and we worship you, God. And we praise your holy name and we're excited for what you're about to do. We have anticipation for what you're going to do, how you're going to touch and how your will is going to be accomplished. We praise you in advance for it. We magnify you for it. We thank you for it, God. We give you praise and glory, dear Jesus, for it. Oh, God, let all flesh bow under subjection to the King of kings and the Lord of lords as your spirit rolls into the house. God, as your spirit touches your believers wherever they're at today, I pray, God, that all flesh, dear Jesus, would submit to you and, and the heart of the, the children of God going towards their Father, I pray, would, would uh, be, be a forefront in what we're doing today, Jesus, that we desire after you, that we want after you. As the deer panteth for the water, we pray, God, that, that our hearts and our souls in this moment would be fixated and focus and desire you and let your perfect will, will be accomplished, God. We bind every hindrance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by his authority. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. In Jesus' name, and we release this into the hands of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Cool. You guys feel good? Do you guys feel? I feel good. I'm ready to go, guys. I am so ready to go. It is crazy. By the power of the Holy Ghost, this is going to be a good, uh, a, a good live stream. Man, so... Okay, okay, so let's first talk about our focus. Why are we here? Why are we binding together today? The reason why we're here and the reason why we're congregating together on today's Yap Alive. Awesome, awesome. Isaac's ready. Woo -woo, let's go. Khalil's ready. This is awesome, awesome. So the reason why we're together is because we're going to be focusing in on teaching and, and grabbing hold, not just teaching, not just knowing, but actually getting hold of the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay. Now, from the, just from the start, uh, the Holy Ghost is not different than the Holy Spirit. Okay. 
the Spirit, uh, the Holy Ghost is the Holy Spirit. So if you hear me talking about the Holy Ghost, if you hear me say the Holy Spirit, just know it's the self same thing. Different languages, you know, the Bible was written in English, and so we have different terminologies, but it's the self same thing. It's the same exact thing. So I um, just want to get that kind of uh, out of the way before we move forward so that everyone's on the same page. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, whatever, however we mention it, that's what it is. Okay. So this is awesome. So first off, Big question, what is the Holy Ghost, okay? What is the Holy Spirit? Or may I say, who is the Holy Spirit? Well, very simply, the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of the Lord, okay? It's the Spirit of God. It's the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, okay? So, first, as I was thinking about this, it's like, okay, let's go back to, to Joel, right? The book of Joel in Joel 2, verses 28 and 29. We will be reading a lot of scripture, but don't worry. It's not going to be boring. We all have to get on the same page before we start opening up to massive prayer. Like, it's, it's going to be awesome. So, um, first, the Holy Ghost is the promise of the Father. It's the Spirit of God. Okay, Joel 2, 28 says, through 29 says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I, this is the Lord speaking through the prophet Joel, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. This isn't a if, it's a shall. It will happen. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. And also upon thy servants and thy handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit. This is a prophecy coming from Yahweh, coming from Jehovah, the God of the Old Testament, he says, hey, there will be a time where I'm going to pour out my spirit, my spirit, the spirit that, that's in me. I'm going to give that to everybody. It will, it will fall upon all flesh. Any, anyone from, uh, from Jerusalem all the way wrapped around the world, every country, every nation, every tribe, every tongue, the power of the Holy Ghost, the spirit of God is going to be uh, uh, just rain out on the entire world. It's the prophecy from Joel. Okay. So that is what the Holy Ghost is. It's very simply the Spirit of God. Okay? Does that sound good? Everyone on the same page? The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. It's the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty. Okay? Now, the question, why do we need the Holy Ghost? Why do we need the Holy Spirit? Okay? There's many reasons. The Bible is, is full of different reasons as to why we need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit needs to live inside of us so we walk right, talk right, we do right, we think right. See, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, it helps us through our day. It helps us overcome the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. If you struggle, ever struggled with, with hatred or envy or jealousy or sin or lust or whatever it is, the Holy Spirit is given to us to help us overcome. That's what the Holy that's why we need the Holy Spirit, right? But the first and foremost reason why we need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit is because of salvation. We cannot be saved without the Holy Spirit. The Bible teaches us in John 3. You know, you guys remember John 3:16? Okay, if we rewind a few scriptures back, we'll see that J uh, Jesus is talking with Nicodemus. Nicodemus is the high priest, or not the high priest, but he's a priest. And uh, let me just read you, read you the passage. So in John 3, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This Nicodemus, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that there are that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. So Nicodemus that night, he comes, he's, you know, he's kind of peeping. He's like, well, wait a second, where's Jesus? He's coming to Jesus by night because there's a lot of pressures. Jesus is tearing stuff up. And they say to him, Jesus, we know that, or, you know, uh, Nicodemus is saying, Jesus, we know that you are a teacher sent from God because you can't be doing all these miracles if God wasn't with you, right? And so he says that to Jesus. And then Jesus, he cuts the chase. See, Jesus was a straight shooter, right? So he just cuts this chase. He says, Jesus uh, answered and said unto him, this is to Nicodemus, Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. See, Jesus wasn't really concerned with, you know, all the, 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 the talk and the hoopla that was going around him. No, he, was, he wanted Nicodemus to know that, hey, Nicodemus, I came for you and this is how you 
be saved. You can't be saved or you know you must be born again. Right? And so Nicodemus saith unto him. Now Nicodemus the cold, a curveball was thrown in him. He's like, "Well, wait a second. And he says this. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into the second time into his mother's womb or be born? Jesus, how am I supposed to be born again? Like, do I have to go back into my mom to be born again? Like, what do you, what do you mean this born again stuff? And this is what Jesus says. Jesus answered, verily, verily, truly, truly. This is the very true saying that I'm about to say to you. I say unto thee, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit. That spirit right there is a capital S. So this is talking about the spirit of the Lord. Except the man be born of the water and the spirit of God almighty, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This is why it's so important for us to have the Holy Spirit living inside of our lives. This is why we need the Holy Ghost first and primarily. If you look at just even the progression of the Bible in the Gospels, you see that Jesus is mentioning the Holy Spirit long before it's poured out in the book of Acts, long before the prophecy from Joel chapter 2 is revealed and, and shown to the world. So here we have Jesus teaching and he says, uh, except a man be born of the water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And then he tells Nicodemus, hey, Nicodemus, that which is flesh, that's the flesh. And then that which is of the spirit, let me see where I'm, okay. The spirit is spirit. Then he says, marvel not. Don't be like, whoa, that I say that you must be born again. Then Jesus says this, the wind bloweth where it listeth. Okay, where it decides to go, where it has a desire to, to go. Okay, which is a different subject. But, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell where it cometh. And whither it goeth, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. This is what he's telling Nicodemus. Hey, uh, how do you get the Holy Spirit? That's what we're talking about today. This is awesome. We're going to jump into that right after this. So this is what Jesus is telling, telling Nicodemus. He says, don't, don't trip that I'm telling you like you have to be born again. The Spirit, the, 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 the wind, the, he likens this, the, 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 the Spirit to the wind. The wind goes where it listed, right? It just goes where it desires to go. Right, and you can hear the sound thereof. This is very important. Remember that. Put that like a mental cue or a mental note. Sound, the sound. You can hear the sound thereof. Okay, but you can't really tell where it's coming from. And then he says, "So is everyone that is born of the Spirit." Right. So that's the first and primary reason. Yes, the Bible says that we will receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon us. Yes, we'll receive power. Yes, we'll be able to walk in spiritual victory. Yes, we'll be able to walk with authority and dominion and, and, and power with God. But the first primary thing that, or the reason why we need the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost living inside of our lives, is so we can be saved just like Jesus taught. Okay? Now, how do you get the Holy Ghost? How do you receive the Holy Spirit into your life? Okay. Now, if you know, as, okay, so how do we receive it? They, there is a, back then they had the same exact question. See, we're all very, like the humans in the Bible are the same humans that live today. We just call ourselves us, right? And so Jesus, or excuse me, uh, back then after they crucified Jesus, they killed him. The very Jews, his brethren, they murdered him right? Three days later, he comes back and from the dead and he ascends up into heaven. He continues about his father's business and he ascends up into heaven. But right before he goes, he tells the, his disciples, the 12 that were the closest to him, or at least the five, 12 and there was 500 there too, to go into Jerusalem and wait for the promise of the father. Now, the promise of the father was what Joel or what was prophesied through Joel. And Jesus said, I will pour out my spirit, or the Lord said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So guess what happens in the book of Acts chapter two? On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit fills the room. And it's so, it's so great, it's so powerful. It's like a rushing mighty wind, like, because the power of the Holy Spirit, that right, that's just pouring and flooding down, right? So from there, People think, man, these people are drunk because they're they're speaking in tongues. They're 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 experiencing the power of the the holy the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, right? And so the same people who murdered Jesus, right? They're at the day. They're they're observing the day of Pentecost, and they're there 
kind of mocking the, the, the disciples that are speaking with tongues. And so Peter stands up with the rest of the apostles that were there and says, we're not drunk, drunk as you suppose. We're not drunk like everyone's thinking we're drunk. It's not that. It's definitely not that. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. So he says, well, we're not drunk. We're just experiencing what was prophesied of by the prophet Joel. And so there we find that he begins to preach to them, how they crucified the Messiah, how they murdered him and this and that. He starts, pre starts to preach to them, right? Well, they ask, well, then what do we do to receive the promise of the Father that you guys have experienced? So they have the same exact question. How do we receive the Holy Ghost? How do we receive the Holy Spirit? Remember, this is the promise of the Father that was, like we talked about already, prophesied by the prophet Joel. And so this is what Peter says. Uh, and when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts. After they heard the preaching, they're like, man, dude, we, we, did, we sinned. We messed up. We murdered the Messiah, like, ah, it, it pricked them in their heart. And Peter said into, or, and, and they said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? How do we get the Holy Spirit? Then Peter said unto them, repent. It's the first thing, repent. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission or the revoking or the washing away of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you will receive. Now, listen, it's not a if. It's not a maybe. Yeah, maybe you receive the Holy Spirit. No, you shall. It will happen. You will receive the promise of the Father. You will receive the Holy Ghost. Then Peter goes on to say, for the promise is unto you. This was already promised to you and to your children and to everybody. Right? So majority of us are not of Jewish descent, but the promise of the father that was spoken of in Joel way before the world knew it, it was even there way before the, they knew who Joel was, right? It was promised to every single person. And that word children there means everyone that is to come. So not only was it was the promise of the father, the Holy Spirit promised to us all, right? Or everyone that was there at that time, but even their descendants. And that's us, right? So, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. So how do we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost? How do we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit? The way we do it is by repenting, okay? That's, the repentance is the hinge, okay? And we'll, we're going to dive into what exactly repentance means. But we need to repent. And then from there, we're baptized and we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So now just let's rewind back just a few more verses and we'll, we're going to check out what happened when the Holy Ghost fell on them. Because see, if we're looking for the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost to fall on us, we should probably be looking at how it fell on them and the way that the Holy Spirit, the way that the Holy Ghost fell on, on uh, the 120 that were in the upper room at the beginning of the book of Acts chapter 2 was there was a, the sound of a rushing mighty wind that filled the house where they were all seated and they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So what that means is that when the Holy Spirit, when it comes down to fill your life, the evidence that you have received the Holy Spirit in your life is that you would begin to speak in other tongues. Now, if we take that and we rewind it back to what Jesus said, he said that uh, you will uh, the, the wind bloweth where it listeth and you hear the sound of it, right? You guys remember that? All right, so you take a little mental note. Well, let's bring that back out. The sound thereof. If you look into the Greek, which I'm no Greek scholar, but I know how to use it in accordance. And you look, you'll see that word is phone. It's not sound as in, it's sound as in phonics, where we get the word phonics from, okay? And so what Jesus was teaching Nicodemus back then, right? When Jesus was here on earth in John chapter three, he says, hey, Nicodemus, you're going to hear a phone, a phonics, a, a, a utterance. You're going to hear that. And that means that they've been born 
of the Spirit. And we see that unfolding in the book of Acts chapter 2. They, the, the Holy Spirit falls down on them and they begin to speak with other tongues. That's where, that's where we get the, uh, or that's what we see, the fulfillment of that, right? So, um, that's where we see the fulfillment of it. So, now, now that we've opened the Word of God, now that we examined it, now that we looked at the Word to see exactly what it means for us, let's start applying it to ourselves, okay? And this is going to be great. Just give me one moment because I'm super excited. This is going to be awesome because we're not only going to pray, but those of you guys who have not received the gift of the Holy Spirit, Those of you guys who have not received the gift of the Holy Ghost, you guys are about to receive it right now. Okay? This is not something that I'm saying because I'm cool or whatever. The reason why I say this is because in the Bible, it wasn't no if, it wasn't no maybe, it was you shall. Okay? And the promise is for us today. The promise is for us right here, right now to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Wherever you're at. Okay, I've I've personally, I've seen a lot of people, hundreds of people with my personal two eyeballs receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I've been in conferences where there's thousands of people who all at the same time are worshiping and praising God, speaking in other tongues. I've personally experienced miracles of healing while people while, you know, praying and speaking in tongues after seeking the face of God. There's that, that happened to my personal physical being, right? And so this is not just for back then. This hasn't stopped. The Holy Spirit still fills believers everywhere, every day, every moment, every second of every day. Someone is receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And they're speaking in tongues when they do it as the evidence that is there. So we're going to go for that. Okay, you guys excited? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a hand clap emoji if you guys are ready to experience the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, to those who have already received the spirit of the living God, living inside of life, you guys have tasted of that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. This is going to be a great time for us to reach out to God and further deepen our connection like Paul teaches us to pray in the spirit. That's what we ought to be doing. And if you feel that burden to pray for someone who may be watching this live or maybe is a friend of yours who hasn't received the gift of the Holy Spirit yet, follow the spirit, follow where God's leading and pray for that individual. Con like make connection with that individual in the spirit. So, amen. I'm a witness. That's awesome. Let's go. This is super great. This is super great. So, first off, I, I, let me tell you a quick story, okay? I remember uh, it was, I was going through a, 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 a time in my life where I was learning uh, like kind of a Bible college type deal. And I remember learning this particular process that people have said they've seen thousands of people get the Holy Ghost with. Now, I believed them. I, I believed in the process, you know, repentance and, and worship and praise. And so I decided to try it for myself. And so I literally remember being in the altar with my hands raised, just worshiping. And I, and I felt like, you know, I have that confirmation. Like I, I touched God. I'm, you know, he connected with me and, and um, I felt, felt powerful. And so I turned around to see who else I can talk with or, or minister to or pray with. And I seen this man and he had tattoos and, you know, his hair down, uh, down his back. And, you know, he looked at, like uh, pretty rough. And so I turn to him and I see him with his hands lifted. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. And he was so in, like in it. He was so like passionate for it. And so I look at him and, I, you know, I'm thinking of the system, you know, I'm like, okay, well, let me see. I said, hey, brother, uh, I hope you don't mind me interrupting you praying, but have you received the baptism of the Holy Ghost? Have you received the Holy Spirit? And he put his hands down. He looked and he said, no, I haven't. But you saw the, the passion in his face. He really wanted the Holy Ghost. And so I said, hey, man, let me, let me, uh, uh, if, you know, I, I, God is here. You, you are experiencing God right now. You know he's alive. You know he's real. You know he wants to fill you. By the grace of God, God's helped me to, uh, you know, learn these things and, and, and uh, you know, just be around people where I've seen people get the Holy Ghost. And here's what I'd like you to do. 
And so we begin to, you know, walk through this process of first repentance. And so we repented right then and there. We opened our hearts and, you know, we told God, you know, pretty much repentance means God, I'm sorry. God, I'm turning away from my sin. Yes, I was going that way, but I'm going to go this way towards you now. And so we went through that and we repented right there and, and we begin to pray and after we were done repenting, I said, okay, now we, we've cleansed our heart, like our hearts are open and, and God has forgiven us. See, the Bible teaches us that all have sinned and all have fall short, fallen short of the glory of God. So no matter who you are, no matter where you're coming from, you know, you may be looking up at pastors and bishops and evangelists and, and great and mighty men of God. Just know that we all started from a place of being sinful people. No matter how big our name is, no matter how holy we are, how spiritual we are, we need God to forgive us. And that's everyone. So I explained that to him. And, uh, you know, he, he got it. And so I said, now what we're going to do is we're going to worship God. We're going to praise him. And what you're going to feel is the power of the Holy Ghost fall on you. And you'll begin to want to speak in tongues. And when you lift your hands and begin to worship God, just let that, that evidence that you have received the Holy Spirit, let it come out of you. So he shook his head, yes, okay, that's what we'll do. And he lifted his hands, and I literally remember this, is crazy. And he lifted his hands, and he, and he began to pray, and I, and I asked him, is it okay if I lay my hands on you? And I prayed, and he said, okay, and so I laid my hands on his head, and I began to pray. And, and within but two minutes, it wasn't but 120 seconds, the power of God fell on him, and he, tears streaming down his face, he began to speak with other tongues. This is something that I personally saw. And I remember looking there, and I was like, it worked. <laughs> What they taught me worked. <laughs> it actually worked, right? I've seen other people do it, but I, it became real for me at that moment. And this brother went on to, to stay in the church and, and his life was radically changed, not because of anything we did, but because of the Holy Spirit that did it. All right? So let, let's talk about you know what exactly we went through at that altar at that time. And so very simply, we're going to go through a few a few processes, right? A few steps. First off, you're here, okay? And the first uh, step in, in you receiving the Holy Ghost is very simply believing, right? We need to believe that God is real. If you're here, you probably believe God is real, okay? So check, check that little box, you know, we're good. You have to believe, you have to have faith, but not only have, have to believe and have faith in God, but you have to believe that he can give you the Holy Ghost, you have to believe that you can speak with other tongues within the next two, three, 10 or 15 minutes as we're praying. You have to believe that for yourself deep within your being. Okay. Now don't stress yourself out. I remember I used to think, God, I'm not having that much faith. You know, this it's not, you don't have to feel faith. You have to have faith and that faith and belief and just say, okay, it's going to happen. That's as simple as, as it needs to be. Just know in your mind. Okay. It can happen. It not only can it happen, the Bible says it shall happen. It's going to happen, right? And so that's the first thing, belief. Second is we need to repent, okay? As I mentioned before, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's no big I's, little U's. The only big U is in the name Jesus, okay? <laughs> He's the only big U, okay? <laughs> they were all, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, okay? Not, and it's not every single day we fall. Very simply, sin means missing the mark. Okay, if God said, hey, you know, don't hate, hey, you know, love people, hey, you know, don't, you know, sin, don't, you know, lust or whatever it is, and we miss it, that just means we sin, we messed up. But the Bible says the grace of God is there, the mercies of God are there to combat sin, to wash us again. And all we have to do is ask for it, is confess our sins to God, to repent. And that's all we do. So imagine you have a little cup inside your heart. When you repent, you dump out all that sin, right? And God comes in and flushes it out. And now it's clean, ready to be filled with something else. And that something else is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Ghost. Okay? You guys with me? Now, when the Holy Spirit fills you, okay, it's like, a, like I said, a cup. And so it's going to start, you start feeling the power of God. People ask me, what does it feel like to be filled with the Holy Spirit? or to have the Holy Ghost move upon you. Well, everyone describes it differently. The best way for me to describe it, it's like a, a, an electrifying feeling that isn't electric. It starts kind of in the back and starts moving up and you feel the power of God. You feel power, literal power, but not power as in, you know, you touched a, a little, zzz, like you got, you know, a little buzzer, the, the hand prank buzzer, not power like that, power like 
you feel like just alive. You feel life. Like if your muscles are getting more like energized or have the capacity to go further, farther, faster. It's like a who it's powerful. Now, it's a spiritual thing, so we can't, uh, we can use earthly terms to try to define it, but you know, we, we all, our earthly terms are limited, right? But that's what the Holy Spirit feels like. And when you start feeling the Holy Spirit on you, you'll begin to want to, to speak with other tongues, especially if you're already worshiping, if you're already praising God, if you're already connecting with God, you're going to want to speak with other tongues. Now, one thing I want to, to say as we move forward is that you may you will hear me speaking in tongues. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is there where you're at. And you will feel the Holy Ghost. And you may see and hear me speaking in other tongues. You don't have to don't holy the Holy Spirit isn't taught. It's received. Okay? So you not you don't have to listen out for how someone else is speaking in other tongues. Listen into that that the, the Holy Spirit that you feel and the evidence that's trying to come out like you want to speak in tongues. And you lift your hands and you begin to speak with other tongues and the power of God will fill you and you're going to feel clean. You're going to feel pure. You're going to feel, you know, uh, uplifted because God took away and wiped away your sin. Right. And then you keep continue to pray and you continue to touch God until you are speaking in tongues. And that's the evidence that you've received the Holy Spirit. It's not how to. It's the evidence that you did. Okay. So. Without further ado, let's move into this. We're going to move in to praying right now. So if you're out there, you know, uh, you know, live stream land, maybe you're in your kitchen, maybe you're, you know, uh, you know, wherever you're at, uh, you know, walking down the hall, have the, have the live stream in your headphones, whatever you're doing, I'd ask that you find a, a quiet place, a place where you and God can talk. We're just, it could be just you and God and your phone on the side. You know, uh, God shows up anywhere. He'll show up everywhere. He can show up in the shower. He can show up in the bathroom. He can show up in, you know, your closet, wherever you need to find that personal place. Cause things are about to get intimate. You're about to receive the baptism of the Holy spirit. Okay. It's going to get real. It's going to get something. You're going to, you're going to feel it. I'm telling you, it's real. It's a real thing. Okay. So find that place where you're, you're, you know, uh, you, you can get by yourself where you can really just focus on God and commune with him. All right. So I'm going to talk for a little bit more to, to kind of open this up to, for us to start moving in. But I hope you're moving to that place. Go ahead and get into that place. Right. And so that's what you need to do. And, and when you're there, what you're going to start to do is first, we're all going to repent. And, you know, everyone sins. I messed up today somehow, some way. Okay, and everyone else has. So we all did something today that probably wasn't right. We said something, we got irritated, we're supposed to love, but you know, we didn't. Whatever it is. So we all need to repent right here, right now. And that's what I'll ask everyone to do while we're on this live is to repent, truly repent. And I'll lead in the prayer. You don't have to pray exactly what I'm saying, but if you want to, you can follow me. And uh, we're going to pray, okay? We're going to pray a prayer of repentance. And once we repent, see, the Bible says he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins, okay? So once we repent, God wipes it clean. Don't try to hold it in your mind like, oh, but God, I, I did this and I can't, you know, God's not going to do X, Y, Z. He's not going to fill me with the Holy Spirit. He's not going to, because I did that. Don't hold it in your mind. Once you repent, it's gone, okay? Then once you repent, we're going to praise God. We're going to begin to worship God. We're going to begin to magnify God, okay, in our own way. You guys can hear me. You guys can listen to me and and and, uh, and follow what I say, okay, if that's, if that's helpful for you. But once you start feeling the Holy Ghost, you just keep doing. Say the same thing. Even if you say it over and over and over and over and over again, right, you're, you're, what you're doing is you're trying, you're, you want to feel the Spirit and you want to get used to that feeling, right? That's you being filled with the Holy Spirit. And then you begin to open your mouth. That, well, you're worshiping while you're opening your mouth and then you let the tongues take over. Okay. And that's the, the last, that's the last straw. That's the last thing. That's just the evidence that, Hey, I receive the Holy spirit. So if we're already, you got in your place, I'm in my place. Let's begin. So first off, I'm going to repent. I'm going to say a, a prayer first that you guys can follow along. And then, you know, I'm going to begin to just repent just the way that, that I know how. Okay. Everyone ready? It's going to be exciting. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for this day. God, I worship you. I praise you. Father, we come to you today 
because we're not perfect and we need your Holy Spirit. God, I repent of everything that I've done, everything that I've said, everything that I thought, everything that I heard, every imagination that wasn't right. And I pray that you would forgive me, God. I pray that you would forgive me of all my sins, of all the things that I did that weren't right in your eyes. Father, I pray that you would cleanse me with your blood and that you would cleanse me with your spirit. I am nothing without you, God, and I need your forgiveness. I need your mercy. I need your grace. I need your love. I need your care. And Father, now that I have repented, I pray that you would fill me with your Holy Spirit, that you would fill me with your Holy Ghost, that the Spirit of the living God would fill my heart, fill my life. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray in Jesus' name. So my friends, now that we have repented, now it's time to worship and to magnify God and to praise Him. God, I worship you. If you're out there and you're in your place, or it could be you and God, go ahead and lift your hands. You can set your phone down and just lift your hands and begin to worship God. And if you don't know how to worship or, or praise God, you can follow what I say. God, I worship you. I praise you and I magnify you. God, I lift you up. I praise you. I worship you. See, uh, praise and, and magnifying God is very simple, okay? And just go ahead and worship God and, and you can ask God, Lord, fill me with your spirit. God, fill me with your spirit. I worship you and I praise you, God. I magnify you. I love you, Jesus. God, I need your Holy Ghost. God, I need your Holy Spirit. Father, I pray, God, that you would touch me, Jesus. Hallelujah, I need your Holy Ghost. I need your Holy Spirit. Father, fill me with your Holy Ghost. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, I pray. I worship you, Jesus. I praise you, God. I magnify you. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Ghost, I ask. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Ghost, I pray. I praise you. I worship you. Hallelujah. My life is yours. Hallelujah. 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 I worship you, God. I praise you, Jesus. I lift you up, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And just go ahead, continue to praise Him. Continue to worship, saying the same thing. God, I worship you. I praise you. I worship you. I love you. I magnify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I worship you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Ghost, I pray, O God. Hallelujah. And if you felt 
that you spoke in tongues, if you thought that you spoke in tongues, just continue to, to go there. Just continue to speak in tongues. That's the evidence that you have received the Holy Ghost. If you said just a word or maybe a few syllables, that's the evidence that the Holy Ghost is on you. So continue to pray that. Continue to worship God. Worship God in English and worship God while you're speaking in tongues. I worship you, Jesus. I praise you, God. You are great, O oh God, and greatly to be praised. King of kings and Lord of lords, the unstoppable force in this universe. I praise you, God. I worship you, God. God, I magnify you, and I need you, Jesus, because no flesh, oh God, is going to make it. Without you, Jesus, oh God, I worship you. Lord, I pray that you would fill them with your spirit, God. Let your Holy Ghost go forth, O oh Jesus, by your power and your authority, O oh Lord, to touch the hearts and souls that are on this live, God, that will be watching this live or the replay or wherever it goes. I pray in Jesus' name that your spirit, O oh God, would take the preeminence and the power and the authority of God Almighty would go forth to reach and touch the souls of men. I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by your power, by your authority, let it be done in Jesus' name. Demonstrate your glory. Demonstrate your power, we pray, dear Jesus. Against all obstacles, against all opposition, may your spirit go forth, O God, and confirm your word, I pray, with miracles and the sign and the evidence of speaking in other tongues, my God, by your power by your spirit hallelujah if you felt if you receive the holy spirit if you receive the holy ghost just continue to to uh to, to to vibe on that evidence the evidence that you have received the holy spirit which is speaking in other tongues just continue to let your voice out just continue to let those words come out of your mouth just continue to let the 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 syllables that you may not understand come out of your mouth and 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 continue to worship god hallelujah your robot Hallelujah, Jesus, God Almighty. I, I worship you. I praise you. I thank you, Lord, for the demonstration of your spirit and your power. Hallelujah. We are grateful to you, God. Thank you for filling us with the Holy Ghost. Thank you for filling us with the Holy Spirit. We pray in Jesus' name and by your authority and by your power, oh God, confirm your word. Thank you, God, for your confirming your word. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many of you guys felt the Holy Ghost? How many of you guys felt the Holy Ghost? I know I did. I know I did. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you. I praise you. Hallelujah. Continue, continue, continue to speak in tongues. Continue to pray. Continue to open your heart to God. Continue to connect with Jesus. Lord, I worship you. I praise you. I magnify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, if you're praying and you're speaking in tongues, go ahead, continue, continue to pray, continue to, to speak in tongues, continue to, to go after God. God is real. God is there. I'm sure you can feel him. What you're feeling right now, that's the Holy Spirit. That's the living King. That's, that's the living King that we sing about. That's the living King that we write songs about. That's the living God that we, that we praise and that we worship and that we read about in this Holy Word. That's the living God that we see all the cute posts on Instagram about. That's the living God that we know. Whew, we got our books. Okay, Woo. awesome. That's the, just continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Now, uh, we, we uh, just, you know, due to the fact that I can't, you know, be, you know, everywhere to, uh, to, you know, experience and to confirm and have, you know, every single uh, person's experience. There's a few things I want to, to mention here before we wrap up. And that is this, that first off, 
the Bible says, according to this Bible, in which the entire world was framed, okay? Not this exact Bible, but you know what I mean, okay? The Bible. Uh, that the worlds were framed by, okay? Uh, or at least the God of the Bible that it was framed by. The Bible says, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, okay? You will receive it. You shall receive it. That's a promise of the Word of God. So you're going to receive it, okay? And if you're not 100% certain, if you receive the Holy Spirit, Shoot me a DM and we can talk, okay? Now, if you didn't speak in tongues, like you, you felt the power of God, you were touched by God, but you didn't speak in tongues and you didn't have the evidence, don't worry, okay? One of th the things, let me just, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and expose the devil just so you know who he is, where he's coming and how he's gonna try to operate, okay? If you spoke, if you, uh, spoke in tongues, right? The devil oftentimes will try to tell you that you didn't. Or that like, hey, what were you saying? That, that was gibberish, right? That's the enemy talking. According to this Bible, it's, it comes through speaking in tongues, okay? Or at least that's the evidence of it. According to the Bible, that's going to whack the devil over the head, right? Boom, boom, boom. This thing, it, it comes, okay? And it comes with, and there's the evidence of speaking other tongues. The devil doesn't want you to think that you have it, but you really do. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if you... Have uh, uh, if you're if you if you didn't speak with tongues, if you felt the power of God, you were touched by the power of God, but you didn't speak in tongues. Again, don't worry. The Bible says that you shall you shall receive the Holy Spirit. You shall receive the Holy Ghost. Okay. So don't let doubt, don't let fear, don't let any of those things cr crowd your mind. Okay. All you have to do is go through the same process. You just repent. You open your heart up to God. Okay, and I'll say this one one thing real quick. If you're having, you know, some kind of unforgiveness in your heart, if you have that little thing inside of you that's kind of like, you know, you got something against someone, make sure that's out of the picture. Okay, make sure that you've forgiven everybody. Make sure that you know if you're you uh, you know you've forgiven everybody in your life that hurts you. Okay, because according to the Bible, that's what we need to do. We need to release people. We need to forgive people, and God will forgive us. Okay, so. You haven't spoken in tongues, you know, you haven't received the Holy Spirit like as it was in the book of Acts. All you do is, is you go for it again. Same thing, repent. And when you release, you know, those things, make sure that you're forgiving other people and you're releasing other people the things and the wrongs that they did to you. Yeah, forgive yourself too. Forgive, let yourself go, let everybody go, and let the Holy Spirit wash you. Okay? And just go for it again. And you'll receive the Holy Ghost. Listen, the Bible says you shall receive it, which means it's going to happen. You will receive the Holy Spirit, just like they did in the book of Acts on the day of Pentecost, okay? So, go ahead and open your heart up to God. You repent, you know, you, you lift your hands up, you're, you're repenting and stuff like that. And, um, you know, just let that happen. Um, another thing is that, uh, you know, once you receive the Holy Spirit, no one could, no one could take it from you, okay? Literally, not, what can separate us? Right? Nothing could take the Holy Spirit away from you. You get keep it close, okay? Because sometimes it could it could slip, you know, like, oh, wait a second, where'd it go? You know, that could happen. But we hold on to it. So everyone on here, whether you've been, you had the Holy Ghost for I, I had the Holy Ghost by the grace of God for almost 20 years now. Okay? By the grace of God, right? But I still, after 20 years, I need this thing. If this represents the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit every single day. It was two days ago that I was like, God, man, I still need you, right? It's the reality of the situation. So all of you guys on here, if you had the Holy Ghost for four years, 10 years, 20 years, however long you had the Holy Ghost, you, we still need to re re renew ourselves in the spirit. Okay, so this is good for everybody. Now, last thing, before we completely wrap up, <sighs> keep going through it. Keep receiving the Holy Ghost. We need to receive the Holy Ghost every single day, which means we need to repent every day. We need to worship God every day. We need to drink of his spirit. We got to be washed by his spirit every single day. Okay. So if you receive the Holy Ghost tonight, shoot me a DM. Let me know. Hey, hey, I, I think I spoke in tongues. Hey, you know, I need, I, I think, I think it happened for me. Okay. Shoot me a DM. Let me know. That's going to be super exciting. Okay. And, um, if it did, if it, if you didn't speak with tongues, okay. If you didn't, if that evidence wasn't there, don't worry. Don't let the devil try to crowd your thinking with all kinds of different thoughts of, you know, oh, it's not going to happen for you. Oh, it'll never happen. You're, you know, you're too bad. You're too this. I, I heard a story of a 92 year old man who was in prison all majority of his life. 
at 12 years old, walked in with a semi-automatic weapon and killed the 12 men that murdered his father. Okay, Mafia hit man the whole nine yards at 92 years of age after murder, murdering people out on the outside, murdering people on the inside of the prisons. After all that bloodshed, he received the Holy Spirit. He received the Holy Ghost and spoke in tongues and he was baptized in Jesus' name. It's a powerful thing. So, I'm sure you haven't murdered anybody, and if you did, God can still wash away your sins, okay? Don't let the devil tell you otherwise. So, just, there it is. Continue to open your heart to God. Everyone on here, everyone who, like I said, you've been in church all your life or whatever, you got, we all need to be receiving the Holy Ghost every single day, okay? Just a, you know, good reminder. <laughs> um, and for those of you guys, you know, just, just continue. Continue to search after God. This felt good. Did this feel good to you guys? This felt good to me, okay? I know I, tonight I received the Holy Spirit. Tonight I received the Holy Ghost. Now I'm super stoked about that. I'm super excited because now that Holy Ghost, now the salvation part is getting locked in, okay? Remember, Jesus said, be, be born of the water and of the Spirit, okay? Being born of the water, we, or being born of the Spirit, we took care of that. Next, be born of the water, right? So you guys enjoy this? It's awesome, it's awesome. So, Hey, listen, my friend, this is Avial Easter with Yappa 238. DM me anytime. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you receive the Holy Spirit tonight, just go and let me know. Shoot me a DM. Just say, hey, it happened for me. If you don't know if it happened for you, I'll mess or message me and I'll message back and uh, we could talk about that. Okay? So, you guys, I'm super excited because sooner than later, we're going to be talking about some really cool, uh, cool stuff. You know, I really want to talk about uh, being bat baptized of the water. That's a good thing to talk about. So um, uh, it's, it's, it's powerful. Oh, man. You guys felt the touch of God? I felt the touch of God by the graces of God. Not because we're cool. Not because we're swagalicious. Okay? Not because we're none of that. It's because he made a promise in his word that, hey, I'm going to give it to everybody. I'm going to pour it out upon everybody who wants it. Right? You wanted it. If you still want it. Hey, I want it every day, right? It's like, you know what I'm saying? I need it every day, so I want it every day. So, yep, that's it. That There it is. Again, if you have, if you received it, boom, just message me if you have any questions, and this is going to be great. I am super excited. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for taking an hour out of your time to connect with Jesus. I know for a fact he appreciates it. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys for for joining me. It was it was it was great. Thank you guys for uh, for being on. Those of you guys who were on and and participated, thank you for truly participating. I really really do appreciate that because when we when we pray and we ascend prayers up into heaven uh, from everywhere that we are at across the United States across the world, it's a powerful thing. Okay, you know a little more advanced, but the the, the enemy is the prince of the air. So we you know shoot up some heavens, we disturb his kingdom. You know what I'm saying. Are we going to do these often? Yeah, I, w I would honestly like to do one um, every every two or three months. Um, I think I think something special here. It was actually a prayer meeting. The Holy Ghost after a service, a live stream service, the Holy Ghost came in and spoke to my spiritual authority. He said, hey, have them do this. And, you know, that's all she wrote. That's, what she, that's why we're here. So um, the Holy Spirit, he's working and he wants to use online. He wants to use social media. So that's rock. With what's going on across the world, we as Christ followers need to take up our cross and follow Christ. Amen. Amen. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. Well, my friends, thank you guys so much for joining. If you guys have any more questions, go ahead and comment them real quick. We have just a few minutes. We just hit the two-minute mark. Um, so if you guys have any quick quick questions, I don't know if I could take questions like that. But thank you guys so much for joining. I really appreciate it. We should be doing this very often. Let's win the world. Let's win the world. That's what I'm talking about, Michaela. Let's win the world. There's two point something billion people on Facebook. We can we can win the world. My leg fell asleep. <laughs> That's funny. Well, zing it to life by the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Power of the Holy Ghost. So. Thank you guys so much for joining. It's been a real pleasure. Um, this is where we're going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys next week, 6 p.m. PST on the Yappa Live. It's going to be great. I really appreciate you guys joining. And uh, God bless you all. Message me, message me, message me. I'm here. And thank you guys for joining us on today's Yappa Live. God bless. Love you guys. In Jesus' name.